the different business models. Today, entrepreneurship is an innovation that's taught at many universities. <coughs> innovation today is a major force in any kind of country. Some countries, 20-30% of the GDP comes from people like this sitting here and creating new businesses. Uh, just to add to what Consul General said before, uh, I do a little pitch for Romania. Romania is a beautiful, beautiful country at the crossroads of East, Central, and Eastern Europe. We have about 20 million people, we all take, has a GDP of about 200 and something billions, which is about, comes out to about <coughs> 11,000 uh, GDP per capita. And the reason I wanted to have this, uh, Romania now uh, is becoming one of the uh, well sought out places for entrepreneurship. <coughs> Later on, when I'm going to talk about this, I'll show you some of the companies. We have already two, two, uh, what do you call it, the, the billion dollars, uh, Ariel? Unicorns. Unicorns, thank you. <laughs> so we already have two, two unicorns. Two unicorns means that we got a valuation of over, over uh, a billion dollars. Um, so my definition of entrepreneurship is basically somebody that is launching and operating a business and trying to scale it and generate uh, money. Um, since this is a, an, academic, an academic environment, there is also the concept of uh, creative destruction. If anybody knows what I mean by that, with the more point, and one, we innovate, start a new industry, and on the other hand, we destroy a lot of industries. So this is the concept of uh, <coughs> creative destructions. Anyhow, I want to thank my terrific panel this morning, and uh, we start by introducing yourself, say a, bit, a few words about yourself, and then I'll talk about your business model and what you do. So, go ahead. I'm Bill Bellows from Los Angeles. Uh, I met Eliana, who uh, invited me, uh, about 2012. I, uh, I worked in aerospace for 33 years, and uh, what I want to share is breakthrough concepts and how organizations work together. My name is Robert Smith. We met Jacob about a year ago. Uh, he changed our life, changed our business, and we want to present the innovation as a result of that in a one-minute uh, showcase, and we'll show you what we've done as a result of what he he sponsored us to, uh, in the accelerator program here at UCLA. <clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Katherine Cooper. I come from CTIP, we're the Consortium for Technology and Innovation in Pediatrics. I'm the co-director there and lead our investment arm. We have a $7 million fund and invest in pediatric medical device projects, so <coughs> med tech as it applies to kids. Uh, my background is a little bit of healthcare, a little bit of business. I went to Stanford, went to three years of medical school, across at USC, got an MBA there, and I've been running this accelerator for about two years, and we have 81 portfolio companies that are all in the very early stages of uh, company formation, so concept, prototype, and preclinical. I can speak to working with a variety of early stage entrepreneurs. Good morning, everyone. It's good to meet everyone today. Uh, my name is Janice Louie. I am representing the Cedar Sinai Accelerator today. I'm the program director for um, that group. Uh, the program is a three month program where we bring on 10. Uh, companies in healthcare technology to Los Angeles for those three months. They receive $100,000 um, in investment and get exposure to the Cedar sinai organization. Um, just a little bit about myself. I actually started out in education about 10 years ago, um, realized that technology was the way to really transform um, not only how education works, but how other industries are really um, going to transform and went back to school, got my MHA, um, worked in healthcare, worked in large um, academic centers, spent the last five years helping large health systems bring in um, innovative new solutions. Um, so I'm excited to be working with Cedars um, today. So good to meet everyone. Um, my name is Shaket Berenson. I'm also based in Los Angeles. I'm uh, running investment for uh, P Capital Group. Um, my background is in media. I uh, sold my company two years ago. It's a, a film distribution uh, and a film studio. Uh, it was my third company. The first two were e-commerce and tech. Um, and I met Jacob, I believe, in the accelerator event for UCLA. I'm actually 
uh, called UCLA my second home. I have an a MBA from UCLA Anderson and also a degree in economics from a few buildings um, up the road. Adrian. Uh, Adrian Stoika, I'm, I'm from Yash. Uh, double E degree from Yash and a PhD from Melbourne and Robotics. And I worked for Jet Propulsion Lab in NASA for close to 24 years, uh, in two, three months. And uh, actually, I do have some connection with innovation in the sense that I run a, a program called Innovation to Flight at JPL. And uh, also, myself and my group together uh, have the record of most uh, awards <coughs> in the so called NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts Program, NIA. Um, and in terms of the private entrepreneurship, I think I'm the one who is here to show how to fail because I don't have any successful <laughs> entrepreneurial <laughs> venture. But, uh, no but I have a couple. <laughs> By the way, this is this is an interactive. You know, uh, feel free to jump in if you have any comments or ideas. So uh, uh, once we get a little bit further in. Uh, anyhow, the reason. Uh, speak about the WPAP and the two other of research about why I'm saying that Romania has the potential to become one of the silicon beach of, uh, of Eastern Europe. Uh, like I mentioned you know, uh, before, there is two, two uh, unicorns. The first one was uh, WPAP. That, uh, last, this year actually raised about $500 million. Last year they raised about uh, $400 million. It's a guy that started in a, an apartment in Bucharest and now has offices in New York as well as in uh, Romania, and today the company has a valuation of, uh, of seven, seven billion dollars. And I uh, also want to give credit, I did some research about uh, another lady, her name is uh, Madalina Segeti. Uh, she has a company called Branch, and the company creates links between uh, websites and application, raised about uh, 150 million dollars here in the United States with, uh, with over a billion dollars uh, valuation. And, uh, like I said, entrepreneurship, it's, it's a big, it's a major force for many economies and uh, innovation and creates jobs. Like, I'm not talking innovation about the small business type, which is, you know, in the United States we have about 30 million small <coughs> businesses and they employ about 60% of the United States jobs are created by the small business and they contribute about more than 50% to the GDP of the United States. So. Uh, on the other hand, with all the respect to innovation in startups, it's very similar like to the restaurants. It's about 90% uh, of the companies fail. I don't know, but this is the statistics that I get. So uh, the 10% the that make it, they make it very well. So uh, to the younger people, when I was in school at my MBA, I prepared a resume. Uh, the newer generation, they come and they pitch a business plan. So it's, it's a complete, complete different environment. And the pace of innovation, the pace of change, is much above our level of comprehension today. So many things changing, so many new industries come up and other disappear. So uh, with this, uh, I'll use the, <laughs> how many of you are familiar with the Y uh, Combinator as, as a platform for raising seed money? Anybody knows anything about the white combinator? You probably guys know. So, if you have the white combinator, if anybody's interested, you can Google it or go to their website. They basically, it's a platform for uh, raising seed money. It's a business model that basically it's capital for equity. You, if you accept it, uh, to get accepted that this one is 